Welcome back to a brand new YouTube episode, guys. This is Nabil Laulu. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe down below. We're in 21st. We got Wiz in the building. It's like 9 p.m. I called Wiz, I was like, hey, bro, it's time to switch to night training. We just been home, fucking eating three, three and a half K calories, which is my daily intake. I already had all my food of the day, and now I'm gonna train. The past like eight weeks of training, I've been training almost fasted with just eggs in the morning. So today I know I'm gonna feel very strong. It's week four for you, SBD, right? Yeah. Uh, no, squat, deads. Three. Oh yeah, you gotta turn the motherfucking rack Wait, around, can you bro. Turn it back around. Because we gotta turn it again. Yeah, that was for the YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Explain the channel with the, with can you explain? So tell them. Tell All them what's right. going on, bro. Oh, tell okay. them what's going on. So for anyone that doesn't know, when we get serious in here, Yo. we turn the motherfucking rack around. We got right? to. We got to, bro. Which means we spin it because the best angle to film, bro, is like from this way going. Whenever we spin, whenever we turn the rack around, it's because we film from this way, going this way to get a better angle. Yeah. So like whenever There's, we're serious yeah. in this gym, we, we turn it around because we face this way, yep. face the crowd. We gotta face the crowd, bro. You gotta face the Olympic lifting section. Yeah. Okay. You gotta let them know what's up. Powerlifters are in the house, bro. So you turn the rack around. Oh my god. Bro, I feel so strong today, bro. But it's not really yeah. funny, bro. I, I can show that you could have just shoulder press that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That up so aggressive. I don't know, bro. Like, I, I need shit. to feel something. Yeah. Yeah, I need to feel something. Oh, hey guys, by the way, hold on. I, I used to squat in Iron Rebels. I just got inserts because it's banned in the IPF, so I'll be oh, trying yeah. to eat Ergo Pros today. Yeah, I can use Ryan Rebels in the RPF, so. Yeah, I told that Kranin, Kranin, yeah, she called me, she was like, I might have to use their sleeves because she ordered them and she might not get them on time for her comp. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this is an extra small. I don't even know if I can fucking fit in that shit. Nah, you can probably fit. Yeah. You feel like a double XS, to be honest. They have double, I don't know if they have double XS. The way they do their size. Look, bro, they, 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 bro, they have, they have only single X, XS is the smallest, which is what I got. So that means if your kneecap is about 11 to 11, 12 and a half inches, they have a whole charge here. Nah, you should be good. Nah, I should be good, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna break those bible boards in. But so today, guys, sorry. Bro, I took so much pre-workout, I'm fucking tweaking right now. Um, but we have SBD, we have some squats, high bar, tempo. Uh, week two, probably gonna take like, like high fours. And then uh, we got a double, a bench double paused at like seven. So probably like around like 315-ish. And yeah, we got pulls, so 280 for a set of four, I think. And um, yeah, I think today is gonna be a very good day because like for six weeks, you know, my strength was kind of up and down, but I know today since I've really like took care of my training and my sleep, and you know last video, I literally had no energy. I told you guys it was not optimal conditions. I was traveling and I didn't get sleep and food. This time is a different story. And I mean, it's gonna show, you guys will see the weight is gonna fly. So yeah, drop a like. We're gonna get straight into the workout.
What's up guys? So we just finished the compound movements and it was actually a very my strongest SBD days ever since I started with my coach. We took 210 kilos on squat for top set of four tempoed week two. I told him like I feel very strong, so I think this block we might end with 500 pounds for a set of four high bar tempo. Bench we took 308 for tempo pause, three by one, so three seconds on the way down, pause there over here. And that's really what I'm trying to work on, keeping the high rib cage, because I usually lose it here. And today it felt very good. And I did 140. Last week I did 130 and it moved worse than that. So I'm very happy. Probably gonna end with 150 at the end of the block, tempo pause for two kilos, which is 331, which should be a PR for that. And pulls, we did 280 for four. It was supposed to be RP six and a half. It was probably RP seven, but it was a long day. The thing is like, I really like to, like coach told me like, bro, you're, you're very strong, but you gotta work on the execution. And he's right. I gotta hold my deadlifts. I gotta hit proper depth on each rep and I gotta pause my benches longer. And today I executed and I did that. So I'm very happy. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for the, the future. Like right now, you know, guys, I don't have singles. I don't have anything. I'm just building. So once singles comes around, I'm gonna be a different guy, guys. So stay tuned. So right now we have a little bit of accessories. Um, we're gonna do, we have machine dip. So for the pecs, we have wide raises for the shoulders and uh, one exercise of tricep. And then that's it. We gotta go home, recover. It's literally like 11.35, guys. All of you guys are probably home sleeping at that time. Guess what, we're here, we have a three hour long training and throughout the whole day prior to that, it was all recovery, food and sleep. Took naps in between my meals and bro, it made the whole difference. I called it, I was like at the beginning of the video, like I'm gonna feel very strong and I did. So yeah, drop a like if you enjoy content, you know? I'm gonna be very consistent, like I said. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna right here, do the machine dip with the fat grip, which is what helped me really like build thicker forearms, more compression on the bench, you know? I always do body weight. So I'm not, one, I'm put 180 even though I'm not 180. All right. It's 10 reps, so get a deep stretch right here. Boom, high rib catch, keep that. Boom, finish up with the triceps. Tempo all the way down, so just like my bench today. That's two, three. Four. I gotta do your accessories right, guys. Five. Six. Set. Come on. Eight. That's two. Nine. Woo. That was good. I can actually go a little bit heavier for the. That was the warm up set, and those. I'm gonna put 210 pounds. And I'll do my two working sets, it's a two by 10, and really gotta take my time. I don't wanna rush those, because right now we're just trying to build the tent. <laughs> Excuse me about that. You're good, bro? Your bro is busting over there, bro. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Anyway, yeah, same execution. For me, if I wanna bench 400 pounds, I gotta tension better. And right now we're just tensioning in well. I'm happy. <laughs> Last one. Ooh, one more set, guys. Feels good. Woo. Starting from next week, Ramadan is gonna start for me. Alhamdulillah. So I'm gonna be fasting for a whole month from the 11th up until the 9th. I can't drink, I can't eat, nothing goes through my body, no smoking, no nothing from sunrise to sunset. For me, Ramadan is like one of the, my favorite month of the year, because it really like brings me back to my faith. I pray every day to God. I'll be very grateful for all the opportunities I have. And it's kind of like a, it's like a reset. It's a mental reset, you know? You, you really like have nothing but yourself and God basically. So every Ramadan for me is like, yeah, it feels like a mental reset for the following year. So, if you guys are Muslims, 
to all my dear Muslims, brothers and sisters. I wish you a wonderful Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan Karim, that's how we say it. Uh, yeah, but like, the interesting thing about Ramadan is like, people are always worried. Am I gonna lose muscle mass? Am I gonna get weaker? Well, the, yes and no. If you are really not taking care of uh, your nutrition, you're gonna lose muscle mass, you're gonna lose weight. So that's why you only have a small window to eat. You, have, you can eat from like 7 p.m. up until 5 a.m. But then I'm gonna be at the gym for three hours. So as soon as I break my fast, the thing you wanna do is just break your fast with a little bit of food so you don't get full. I would recommend you to have either milk or water and then dates. And then you let that sit for like 30 minutes because you haven't had anything in your stomach. So by just having a little bit of water and dates, your stomach is going to expand and fill up. So let it sit. And then you have your first meal, probably around like 8.30. Let that digest. Be in the gym around like 10 p.m. Train for two and a half hours. Come back home and eat the rest of the calories. It's going to be like this for 30 days straight. So that being said, I'll be here every night recording YouTube videos for you guys and you guys could see how my strength goes uh, throughout this uh, whole month of Ramadan this one of like the most the holiest month of the year for us Muslims so yeah if you're a Muslim and you've been doing Ramadan tune in with me because I'll be sharing everything I'll tell I will be fully honest about how I feel and how it is because every year you know when you fast by like, Throughout the years, you're gonna get stronger, and I'm, I'm stronger than last year. So last year, I felt a little bit like weaker compared to the pri previous year because I was weaker. But now I'm even stronger, so I'm interested to see. But I know with with my dedication and motivation, I'll be on point with my sleep, my nutrition. Everything's gonna switch. I'm literally gonna go to bed at like 4 a.m. and wake up around like 10 a.m. instead of going to bed at like. 11 p.m. and waking up at 6.30 a.m. That's when I usually wake up. So yeah, I'm excited. I have a few friends, Mo is doing it too. So I'm gonna ask him to come here and train with me or I'll go to the iron sites. But yeah, guys, let's get the last set of machine deep out of the way. What do you have, Wiz? Sing on Puram. All right, all right. And after that, we got some right, right shoulders and back triceps. Let's get it. Oh yes, no, I raise it and we're good. That's a 175 hey, freshman right here. That's a 175 freshman presser, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, you getting those? Yeah, I just want to grab some of the show up with the, for the IG, brother. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we'll do some in that was an amazing the workout. Mind. Thanks for tuning in again. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 20K. That's all I'm saying. So, don't get, I don't literally make zero dollars from YouTube because, you know, I'm trying to get good quality content with good music for you so I get copyrighted. So. Yeah, if you wanna help me, just drop a thumbs up and then subscribe so we can grow this YouTube fam together. I will see you literally like Monday. I have tomorrow, it's Sunday, rest day. And then Monday we have uh, primary squad week. So it's exciting. I'll see you next week, guys. 